Here is my ceiling that I would like to install, install recessed light, LED panel light. I will show very soon which light I would like to install here. What you can see here, there is an array of light, actually it's eight light here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And the same thing here, one, two, three, four, which is eight. And another two light here, one and two. Okay, so if you look at it from here, you can see what's going on. There is a, you can count them really, it's difficult, but you only see your six. But if you go here, you can see eight and here another two, one and two. Okay. Now, as you can see from each hole here, you can see one, two, three, four, there are three wires here. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, and in the other side, okay, it's only one wire. One wire, one wire, one wire, and one wire. If you look at it from here, you can see here is three wires. Okay, here and here while here is only one wire, okay? And I would like to explain to you what's going on. Basically, here is going to be the switch for all the light, okay? So that is the switch that the actually source of electricity come from here. And it's really traveling here, okay? So what's going on here? Why do we have three wires, okay? This wire is actually the source of electricity, the source that actually coming from the power, okay? This wire is going to connect to the other light that's going to be here. That you can see the wire there. And this light is going to connect to this light, which means it's going to supply electricity to this light. Okay, and the same thing here, we have three wires. One of them is the source. The other one, the other wire, this wire go to this light. And this wire, the third one here, Okay, you can see it here, it's going to this. Okay, and that's until the end. What's going to be at the end, you will see only two light. Two, la two wires, okay? Here is only two. One is the source, and the other one going to this light. Okay, and here where you have white, one wire here. Okay, here you have one wire, because this is only connected to the light here. It doesn't connect to other light. Okay, so that's all the things. So I, I want to show you how it's looking a circuit here. Look at this uh, circuit here. That's what's really going on. You see, this is the source. It's a 110 volt source. Okay, that is the switch here. Okay, and here is the hot. This is the hot wire. And here is the neutral wire. Okay, going like that. So what's going on here? You see here, that is a junction here. This junction here that you can see here, that is the junction. There are three connections. One wire here, one wire go to the other light, and one wire going to the light. This is the source. You see the source is coming here. The same thing here. This is the source. It's going from here. Okay, one wire connected to the light, and this one connected to the other light. Okay, and that's until the end. You have actually only two wires. This is the source, and this light connected to this light. Okay, so that's why we have each junction, we have three wires, at the end we have only two, and here we only have one wire, all of them going to the neutral. Okay, this is a recessed LED panel light that I purchased from Amazon, is less expensive and it's a really better quality than actually Lowe's and uh, Home Depot, it was the same quality. I verified and you know what, I... The, the, the difference between price is huge so that's why I'm going to put a link there you can see it and the quality is unbelievable so this is the recess panel light how it's going to be on a ceiling okay so let me flip it back here and you can see what's going on you can see here it's actually hold himself here to the ceiling one and two and here is the connection and that's what I want to talk after that and here if you look carefully you probably don't see it, but if you look here, let me see if you can see it. If you look here, you can see there is a rubber. Will I show you very soon this rubber? So if you look here, you can see there is a rubber here. You see this rubber, very important. This rubber actually is sealed. This LED, which is a recess LED 
panel light to the ceiling okay so don't forget this rubber here okay and I just want to show you how you actually install it in, in the hole okay so what you have to do here you see this latch to latch that I'm actually have it here what I have to do if I flip it here what I'm going to do I'm going to open this it's really powerful and you install it you put it inside the hole okay and then he latch himself let me show you how I'm doing it okay you see what I'm doing here I'm taking this light I'm putting this cable in I'm open this two latch here I'm with my hand okay one and two okay and I just insert it inside his all okay you have really to push it it's really tricky but you see what I'm doing here I'm actually just push it in and that's it let me show you in the back how it look okay so if I flip it now to the back you can see what you saw before you see these two latch here and this is the connection so each LED recess LED panel light okay arrive with one box okay I actually have 12 of them 12 LEDs so I have 12 boxes this is the connected box this box will connect this LED to the source and will connect other light to this light in parallel okay so let me show you what's happening here okay this is the box okay and I need to connect it to here so you know what I took another LED just to show you how this contact connection work and you can see there is a arrow here and exactly an arrow here okay so there's only one way to go the arrow should be matched okay so here what I'm doing here and I'm just press it in you see what I'm doing here press it in it's closed already and then I'm actually taking this connector and lock it okay and I have the connection here so that's what's going to happen when I'm actually going to put it on a ceiling okay I will connect this box now for this box you have here another thing knocked down that you have to open because from here the source and the other cable that that going or wire that going to other light will be going so let me show you how I'm doing it so the first thing I will do here I will open it okay just to, to show you what we have inside so it's very easy you can open it here and you can see there are ground neutral and hot and guess what this connection can end up actually another three wire each one of them can connect three wires okay so remember what's going to happen here all the neutral will go to this all the hot will go to this and all the ground will go to these connectors okay so now the most important thing is to open the knock you see the knock here I just want to open it so what I'm doing I can open it from here I can open it from here and I can open it from here you know from here it's actually nice for me to do and it's very easy you can see already open okay and now you have to be careful because this one is really sharp okay so this is this it's here and I'm just flipping it flip it again and you can use you very careful because it can be very sharp and this is the piece so you can actually throw okay so the wires will come from here but guess what you really need to put a conduit here without a conduit it's very it's going to a big risk it's, the wire is going to be uh, touching this wire and eventually they will cut themselves and make a short okay so you have to use a conduit and that's what I want to show you what I'm doing here here are the conduit I purchased from uh, one of these uh, from Lowe's actually and you can see it here I will put a link in uh, on Amazon you can look at it and uh, this one like this uh, conduit really it's a three eighth of an inch thread size and a half half an inch knockout okay so that's what you have to buy three eighth of an inch and half an inch knockdown I will put a link on Amazon that you can purchase them very cheap no problem let me show you how I'm connecting this uh, conduit to the box to the, to the connection box this conduit is coming with a nut you have to remove the nut first I removed the nut from the conduit and that's the way it looks
I'm taking the conduit here, as you can see the box here, and I just put it inside. Insert it in, okay? The screw should be here. But I can actually lock them after that. You can put it here, but you know what? Usually I'm putting down, okay, here. Okay, remember this box is going to be closed. There's no problem with the screws here. Okay? And now, I'm taking this nut. Let's remove the wire here, and I'm actually putting it here. Okay, where is the conduit? Okay, and I'm actually just lock it. Okay, I'm locking my hands, and you can lock it with the tools after with the plier to make it as strong as you can. Okay, that's enough, but you know what? I can actually use a plier here to just uh, lock it strongly. So you're gonna use a um, plier, okay, as you can see here, and I just circle it strongly and that's it it's actually going to be there forever and remember this conduit will protect the wires from any short and cut and also will hold them strong tight them strong so that's why you need you must have this conduit that you can see here connect to each box and all the wire will go through it and will connect to these wires okay other thing you be notice here, there is a button here, okay, which can give you different kind of light. One of them it's 3000 Kelvin, 4000 Kelvin, and 5000 Kelvin, okay, and you can actually switch between of them. So there is three ways to configure these LEDs uh, between 3000 Kelvin to 5000 Kelvin. 5000 Kelvin is a very bright light 4000 is bright light and this is kind of a yellowish light 3000 kelvin okay so that's what nice in this led beside the price and the quality